All right, let's go for a little tour, shall we? Uh, this is my house. I haven't really put a whole lot of uh, energy so far into decorating it. Uh, I just kind of have been testing some of the flooring and wallpapers and stuff in here. Uh, but, you know, I got some stuff in here. I got my crystallariums. I think I have like 32 of those. I got my big, big screen TV here. What's my luck for the day? A little extra luck. Okay. I got my trophy, you know, the usual. I got my fish collection right here. Uh, these are four of the five legendary fish that are currently available in my game. Uh, I don't have the new update yet. This is the Nintendo Switch, so uh, we don't have, you know, the update just yet where there's new fish. Uh, but I'll collect those when I get to it. This is my wife, Emily. She's, she's pretty good, I guess. I got my entire basement full of casks down here. Uh, these are currently full of ancient fruit wine. That should be a good chunk of money when they get done. Now outside I got my two statues. My bait. I don't need to throw anything away just yet but uh, as you can see I've got all the good stuff. I've got my clock over here. I've got the obelisk here um, and if you come down here I have the mountain obelisk um, this over here on the right let's see I guess I'll show you starting up here um, so we got nothing up there uh, but over here I have uh, this is my workshop shed uh, I pretty much just have like my machines in here some storage and whatever um, down here is just like a little, I, I can grow a couple things in here, uh, but I usually don't. I guess some flowers occasionally. Uh, I got, you'll see I have, um, lightning rods all over the place, kind of wherever. Um, I started with that here just because, like, uh, there was a few times where I accidentally, uh, hit and, and got teleported through the obelisks, so I, I felt like these just kind of stopped me from doing that more. And I have to like literally go into this slot to use it. Um, but uh, then over here, I think this shed is still empty right now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, but I'm probably going to put more um, jars, preserve jars in here. But I have a Junimo field here, uh, which is currently producing, I think, uh, strawberries. And then I have some extra ancient fruit growing right here which I have to harvest manually. Down here to the right, I have my slime hutch, which I only got this recently, so, um, you know, I think I could still get more slimes in here. I'm not sure really how this all works, but, you know, I'm wearing my slime ring, so it doesn't matter that I walk in here. Gotta water these guys, though. Oops. And I'm not going to really deal with this today for the sake of brevity. Um, but as you can see, I got trees kind of lining some spaces here. Um, I've got these tap, but these are fruit trees over here. And up in these uh, sheds here, I have just all jars that are currently processing cauliflower, I believe. Um, I have a little secret alleyway back here and up into this flower area with beehives and then here I'm trying to grow um, some mega crops just in these areas like I'd like to have some trophy crops so I'm just specifically just gonna grow them in these little areas and hopefully get uh, get them where I want them uh, I don't ever really use this mill I'm not really sure you know I don't do a lot of cooking so whatever I just have it just be just have it uh, <clears throat> of course the mushrooms, um, coming on down here, I have just another little field which is currently growing, uh, I think melons, 
Down here I have some more beehives. These are flowers, um, which are being watered by these same uh, sprinklers, which are sprinkling this giant Junimo field. Uh, this is like a minimalist Junimo field, um, where I have all just uh, ancient fruit growing. Um, I probably have some, no I don't, okay. But this is like a real big money field right here. This is like, I mean, if I process all of this into wine, which I do currently, I think, have the capability to do, um, I make a ton of money. And then I have, of course, my pigs. I've pretty much sold all of my, like most of my animals because I hate uh, milking and shearing the animals. So I really just like the pigs because um, <clears throat> The truffles are worth a lot, and the pigs are pretty good. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of upkeep to deal with them. I just really have to make sure that I keep grass in the field so that they stay happy. Um, and I just process a bunch of these uh, truffles into oil, which, you know, it doesn't increase the value because I do have the, you know, th these are already pretty good as is but they do I don't know it increases like 200 200 gold so whatever I just save it up and sell it all in a big chunk every month or so did I get rid of that yeah I did okay <clears throat> and I do have some dinosaurs and just like random stuff in here uh, but again it's not stuff that I want to upkeep very much um, so these are just like a collection of weird animals, dinos and whatever. I'll just incubate dino eggs every once in a while and sell off the ones that have highest hearts. Uh, no, I don't want to eat. Um, I want to put that there. But I'll just process some of this stuff into mayonnaise and whatever every day. I don't go crazy with it. You know, it just collects and then I sell big batches of it whenever I have too much and so up here I have more fruit trees and these are all of my kegs which are basically what processes my ancient fruit wine to make me a ton of cash um, all of these are full of kegs and I have five of these keg sheds up here and I know I could get these um, put more kegs in these sheds but the way that they're lined up here um, is really the best for my console version of the game because it just makes it everything easier to access and I can really just like run up and down the aisles really quickly and put stuff in and then so here is my greenhouse which again is just full of ancient fruit which is actually currently ready to harvest I don't think we're gonna harvest this all right now because I don't wanna take up all your guys time with pulling crops but as you can see this farm during the the year at least um, when I can fill it with ancient fruit uh, makes a ton of money now I mean you know I got nothing else really to do in this game because I've played through it and uh, finished all the main quests there there is a you know a couple of things that I could still do that I haven't really 100 100 percent completed it uh, you know it's just some of the achievements you know I didn't beat the Prairie King and all that but uh, for the most part, I'm in the end game, and this is how I have built my farm. Um, I originally designed it, like, you know, this was like a big evolution over time. Um, I didn't just build it all in one go, and I didn't really pre-design it, but the way that I went about this design is that I kind of just started off building paths through my, my farm, the way that I like to travel through it. Um, you know, I would I would basically connect all the entrances and exits like kind of in an efficient manner and then I just filled it in with things both in, in, a, in a functional way but also like aesthetic way that I feel was and if you know it, like little things like the way that I put these fences here just to block it so you didn't get stuck when you're trying to harvest trees and, and stuff like that because you know I would always get hung up on edges of stuff so I like to make it so that I could just travel through it and really not get stuck on things as much. Um, and uh, just the way that I've outlined kind of my fields with like the wood, my paths with the, the stone and, and then filled in areas with this hay I think looks pretty good at least. 
Um, you know, I haven't really experimented a lot with like different uh, textures, but you know, I think whatever I've come up with here is, is looking pretty good. And um, yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna really be changing this farm so much from here on out, but once we do get the multiplayer patch on the Switch, then I probably will build a cabin or two somewhere in here, like maybe replacing, maybe just replace this uh, shed with a cabin. Uh, but, you know, I think the overall look and feel of this, this I, you know, I think I also have some stuff to do up here. This, I don't feel like it's finished. I want to rearrange some of the trees here because this is just like, I, this is like the last part that I haven't gotten to yet. So, you know, I, I'll make some more updates, but for the most part, this is like the, the structure of my farm, this farm from here on out. And I do have some other uh, games going, and I also recently bought the uh, PC version. I did have the Switch version first, but I recently bought the PC version. So, uh, you know, that's also just to support the beta for the multiplayer and whatever. Um, I wanted to try it out. I haven't really played multiplayer yet. But I'm looking forward to it, and I really want to do it on the Switch because this is my original version of it, and it's the one that I feel the most comfortable with. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys like my farm, and uh, let me know what you think, and leave a comment down below. Thank you.